Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them, and that's why they got after them early. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Well, the first drive here and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend, and usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch of the opening possession, and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found, and one of the things about him, He's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Yeah, we talk all the time, Charles, that it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has, but really it's the truth. They're, they're, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. O'Connell looking to throw on first. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And him running the football is not something that defenses spend a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. Steps away to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Aiden O'Connell, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Raiders are on the board first here this afternoon. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with him. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. 
And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Meanwhile, Murray's throw complete to McBride across the 30-yard line. Given 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. Uh, it's a well-designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. They'll get this complete to Rondell Moore. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. And the Raiders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough shit. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now it's O'Connell. That's caught by the 6'8 tight end, Zach Gentry. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. That one good for 37 yards. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. That one caught by Carter. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. On the move to his left. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Aiden O'Connell with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Raiders are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot but he looks none the worse for wear here, and that winds up a touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he slings one that's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. Oh, that'll be incomplete.
Took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Call that a very strong gain of 24. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way and get his head around to make a play on the football. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now Murray again. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. This is caught inside the 15. 39 yards there, a big one. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and 10. Now Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer. But he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, oh, they pitch to the tight end. It's a fake. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Raider D, they get the football back. I like the hood spa there, right? They decided to go ahead and fake it and try to pick up a first down. But how about how they executed defensively and smothered that one? I know back from my time frame, everyone has responsibilities, even rushing on a field goal attempt. You've got the tight end. You've got the wing, get, wing back. You might have the guy out of the backfield. Where they executed that win. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. Now how about that? Defensive coordinator perfectly in sync, dials up a blitz, and the man in the middle, he's the one who gets home. Big Mike. Big Mike. O'Connell to throw on second down. Being chased out left. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Now this is where field awareness comes into play. He's getting perilously close to his own goal line, and after that sack, backed up to his own two. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll go for it. O'Connell. Throw caught by Mayer. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So with their backs practically backed up against the goal line, <laughs> just why? why? Why did they do that? 
I'm taking it from the other perspective because I have zero answer about why. <laughs> How about if you're on defense and you realize they're going for it in this situation? That's just blatant disrespect Absolutely. for your team. And you're almost incredulous. You're like, what are they planning on doing here? What kind of crazy play should, or should we expect to see? But there's no way they should pick that up here, and they didn't. And now incredible field position. Second and ten. On play action, it's Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Dropped incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Now Murray, he bootlegs it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. They're going for it. It's Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Michael Wilson, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs for different routes and be precise in your cuts. It appears they're going to throw for it with Murray. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From his end zone, here comes Carter. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. O'Connell on first and 10. To the left side, there's Mayer. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Throwing O'Connell. They'll roll him out right. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid gain to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, O'Connell. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third, O'Connell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Down to the 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jacoby Myers, 56 yards. And the Raiders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Carlson now to add the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Tried to fake extra point. 
but nothing comes of it. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? Maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, well, that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot. Murray now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Murray again, second and ten. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that's caught at the 25. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. From the gun, Murray. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. And the touchdown pass, and the Cards have got it back to within a score. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The Cardinals offense staying put. Obviously, watch out for Kyler's legs. They'll go for two here. They'll look to throw. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he tries to get as much as he can here while protecting the football as he dives to the ground. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. After the turnover, here's Murray. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Murray going to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Murray now to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. 
Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go, and you think you're going to be successful. Not so far in this game. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. First down throw, O'Connell flushed out right. Now the ball comes loose, and the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I do. But let's face it, you know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Finds his running back, James Conner. 23 yards the pick up there. So we've reached halftime with a visiting... You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And here comes a return from a few steps. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And great field position coming up in the red zone at the 17-yard line. So they take the deficit into the lockers. You know they had plans to receive the football. A nice drive instead of fumble on the kickoff. And that can be demoralizing right there because, as you pointed out, they had designs on coming out. And, okay, we're going to change things here in this. Touchdown, Raiders! Michael Mayer from 17 yards out. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to 15 now. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. 
Here's Murray. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. He's got his target. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 33 yards that time. Defender was right there in his shorts. Is that one of those situations as a DB where you just tip your cap and say, nice catch? Well, you're supposed to, but a true competitor, he's not tipping his cap at all. He's upset he still didn't make the play. If it's a 50-50 ball or a moment of truth, he's got to win more than his fair share of them as well. Probably especially angry because if it was incomplete, would have been fourth down. This is caught inside the 15. A huge play there for Arizona. 44 yards. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Michael Wilson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. They'll try and throw for it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Back to throw. O'Connell eluding the pressure right. And, oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It was the safety blitz that ultimately did the job, and they're going to credit him with a sack. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. 
Boy, sitting on a two-score lead at this stage in the game. That punter, he must be pretty lonely over there on the sideline <laughs> thinking, why in the world was my number not called there? As far as he's concerned, the check will still cash, right? <laughs> it's it your choice That's not true. to use me in this situation. But I also look at it this way. You know, some coaches are more aggressive than others. They just want to take care of the football, have the ball on offense, and go at it that way. So a very interesting call, but he wants to take care of the ball himself. Second down, Murray sets to throw. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Murray. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Elijah Higgins, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have cut it back within a score. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Jonathan Gannon making the call. They'll line up to go for two. Murray to air it out again. And this one is caught. So they come up with a two-point conversion, and that makes this a one-point game now. So they go with a pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. Off the play fake. O'Connell rolling to his left. Got a man, it's Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards that time. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So in the Cardinal territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. to throw here O'Connell that went into the hands of Adams downfield and he will score touchdown Las Vegas Devontae Adams 49 yards and they are able to add on to their advantage and remember partner that's a rookie quarterback back there apparently he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly and three touchdown passes you're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything? Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's a wobbler, and it's intercepted. And a very good return as he takes us all the way up to the 35-yard line. touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson right after the touchdown to extend their lead now maybe opening the door a little bit there by allowing starting field position at the 40 well not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines and that is a penalty every time and going to give this offense better field position and it's every kickoff guy's nightmare isn't it because you don't see yourself doing this and most of the time you don't it's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. 
Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Murray's throw complete to McBride. And he's brought down. A lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Murray now on first down. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. He got 29 yards that time. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's not a bad idea, not at all. You've got a bunch of defenders reeling a little bit back on their heels after just giving up a big play. You take another shot and hope to complete it. In this case, though, it falls incomplete. To throw is Murray. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Play fake. Murray. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Now Murray's gotta have this one. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Well, that's the fourth time that they've tried to go for it on fourth down. They've only converted once, Charles. And obviously not a good percentage. And if you're going to go for it on fourth down, you think that you've got the right play dialed up. You can't be stopped. Your momentum's going to keep going. But one for four. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL? Because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. football and the Raiders have recovered so problems compounding themselves here on the return they just give up the touchdown and now they lose the football yeah partner things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes they're going to be looking for some answers and quickly on first and ten it's O'Connell 
He finds his tight end, Gentry. Touchdown! Zach Gentry, 26 yards. And the Raiders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? Carlson now to add the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them, but it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going deep for Brown. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Now a second and 10. Murray now. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Throwing again, Murray. And this one too low. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Throwing now is Murray. His throw incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. 
And I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. And now O'Connell. Touchdown, Raiders! Zach Gentry, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Raiders up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Carlson on for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. If you were me, and we'll see a return. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And the Raiders pick it up. Starting to get the sense throughout the league that more of the special teams coordinators give their guys the green light to bring the ball out because everyone wants big plays to happen. I don't know if that philosophy will hold after that error there, turn it over that deep in their own territory. Do guys go rogue there a lot based on feeling? I think a lot of them just sense that they can make a play and make a huge one to help their team. And they have to have that athletic arrogance about themselves. And every now and then, though, it'll cost them. And that's what we just saw there. Now it's O'Connell. Flush to his right. His pass caught at the four. A lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Buying time to his left. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Escaping the pressure right. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. But defensively, it didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe we're seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about coming out of college. You're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. Carlson now to add the extra point. Now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, coughs up the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they'll be inside the red zone with a ball at the 16-yard line. So that will push him back. And now we know why I have no extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Now Murray. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. And this is incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This offense so far on third down, they've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. They've got his man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Ballon Nichols in there to take him down. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. On second and a long way to go. Murray. And a completion to Wilson. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Operating from the gun, Murray. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. You know, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for Hank. But how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. Correction that you are not a fan of that call. Oh, I wish you would look, Brandon, because I was actually thinking this would be the perfect time for a fake. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me at all. This deep in your own territory. Look, I'm all for being unconventional. That part's cool, and I get it. But this deep, I just don't think it was the right time to make that call. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. That is incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 20! And he is caught, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout, and I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold-up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours, and they certainly weren't kidding. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Dancing to his left. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little land yap, a little extra on top. One of the fun parts about working with you is that we've learned that there are different ways to do things than the way we were brought up to do them. 
This is mad, and of course they were going to go ahead and get another <laughs> score. What do you mean, take a knee? And that just makes the final margin even more lopsided. I think they earned themselves a cold drink from the fridge. <laughs>